As the sun rose over the Irving Criminal Justice Center, the crowd gathered. Too terribly comfortable. That would uh, be a great help. We don't want to have to It was a special day with a special purpose. To honor these police officers and these firefighters for everything they do within our community. Thank you very much. The name of the event explain its intention. It was called COPS. Circle of Prayer. The Circle of Prayer for Public Servants, COPS. It was to pray for our police officers, our firefighters, our first responders. They need to know that they're supported. Every time you turn around, the police officers can't sneeze or they're being told that they sneezed wrong. And the most important thing is we didn't get one no from anyone. So that is, was the important thing. Is Every door open, there was none that were shut. It's just nice to get together to let them know that we care about them, we support them, and we want the Lord to protect them. I think right now we have so much going on um, in the United States that for everybody to come together, come together as a community and to pray is something really special. Cops was conceived at a local church. This thing was birthed actually the Tuesday before 4th of July. One of the people in my church thought that it would be a great idea to support the police. Then Landon Henson, it was at her church, the, one of the, the sponsor church of this Hope Fellowship. Put a, a prayer of protection around our police department, our fire department, our first responders. The community responded with enthusiasm. I love the fact that this was a community-based event. You came up and you said, you know what, we see what's going on around the country and we're going to hold our police, our officers, our fire department in respect. Younger attendees responded to the message too. I just always prayed for them and it was just an honor to sing today. In the home of the Dignitaries from local and state government, law enforcement and fire officials took a moment to praise Irving's first responders, and local clergy took the podium to pray. Hope Fellowship's pastor, Dennis King, began with a prayer for healing. Would begin to humble themselves before God and seek His face. And we have to realize that we have to turn from our wicked ways. And when we do that, I believe with all my heart that God is going to do what He said. He will hear our prayers. He will forgive us of our sins, and he will begin to heal this great and mighty nation. And Councilman Dennis Webb, retired firefighter, concluded with a prayer for unity. I think the most significant thing was the prayer of unity, that we're all one people. One body, I think that speaks it all, is, you know, we need to come together as one voice, one people. We're all Americans, we're all one race, the human race. And stand up for what we believe and, and, and pray for those that, that protect us. America, my home, sweet home. This is Kathy Whiteman reporting.